Welcome back to HLN now. All right, there's a huge security flaw that's hit the web. Personal info that's supposed to be secure, online emails, passwords, credit cards, bank accounts could now be in the hands of hackers. It's, uh, it's a bug called Heartbleed, and researchers found it in OpenSSL. That's the encryption software used by about two-thirds of the Internet. This is so big. Get this quote from one tech expert. When all the net security people you know are freaking out, it's probably an okay time to worry. And this afternoon, many of the net security people uh, that we've discussed, talked to, they're freaking out. How about that? Uh, let's bring in Brett Larson, CNN Technology Analyst. Are you freaking out, Brett? <laughs> yeah. You know, honestly, the more I read about this, the worse it gets. So, yeah, we should be a little extra scared about something like this. And, and for a, a pretty basic reason in that it's there's... It's totally out of our control as a, as a web user. It's not an issue of you've got to run this patch on Windows. You've got to download this security update. You've got to make sure your security software is up to date. This is on their end of the, of the web, of all the transactions we like to make. And there's no way as a user to find out if the site is, is patched or not. So it hmm. really leaves us all open to this, this hacking. Well, that's so we're helpless and vulnerable. <laughs> yes. Which is the you're worst making, place to be. You're making the this worst feel great. place to be. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry that I have to make <laughs> you feel so bad. Now, there are, there are a couple of things that you can do sort of proactively, and then there are obviously things you're, you're going to need to do reactively. All of the sites that you go to, and, and I, I do mean all of them, your banking sites, emails, shopping, and things like that, you, you need to check with them, and, and not by email. You, you need to go to the site. <laughs> they will, in the next 24 to 48 hours, everyone is going to be posting, you know, the Amazons, the Facebooks, the Googles. They're all going to say, it's not a problem with us. Google, Facebook, and Yahoo have already said, it's not a problem here. This is fixed. You're going to need to check with them and see if they have fixed the problem. Once they have fixed the problem, go in and change your passwords. In the meantime, you need to keep track of all of your banking information. Log in, uh, use a website like mint.com, which keeps track of all your transactions. Check your credit card. Do any sort of alerts on your credit card and bank that you can that will send you an email or a text if someone is using your account with the card not present or, or, or things like that to, to protect yourself so you can be very proactive should there be a problem. Okay, so I, I think a lot of people, okay, how could this play out? If I go to an online, to a retailer, a lot of people like to buy online, can yeah. I make myself vulnerable? I punch in the, the credit card, I want my item, and in that process, could I be vulnerable? In that pro now, here's where it gets a little bit of a gray area. In okay. that process, until this patch is applied, until this is fixed, you are sort of vulnerable to hackers. Here's where it's kind of a catch-22. By telling everybody about it, the hackers now know what they need to do to get our information. Unfortunately, you have to tell everybody about it so all of these websites know to update their information. For now, you're just gonna you're gonna have to sort of roll the dice and say. Uh, how badly do I need 50k cups of Tully's coffee by tomorrow from Amazon.com? <laughs> and if it if it is that bad, then by all means, roll the dice. Don't wait till Friday when most of this stuff is. We need our be coffee. Patched. Oh, yeah, great you, example. You, you that's an, that's a great example. Yeah. Brett, great stuff. Thanks for boiling it down for us. We'll keep an eye on it and have you back uh, again. Thanks for having Helpless me. Helpless and vulnerable. Thanks, Brett.